Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy is called to stop to this contest at two minutes, 20 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, TJ Dillashaw. I'm here with the winner and still champion, Joe Soto. We're going to talk to you, too, in a bit. First of all, TJ, congratulations on defending your title for the first time. This was a very difficult position you were put in. A change of opponent at the very last minute. Now that it's all said and done and you won, give us your thoughts on the last 24 hours and what was going on. Man, it's been crazy. You know, you uh, out before making weight, you get the call, he's not, he's not making weight switch of opponent, especially a tough opponent like Joe Soto, for you guys don't know him. He's a, he's a tough opponent, you know, it was a tough call, but obviously I want to do it for Sacramento. There's no way I'm not going to put a show on for you guys and save the night. And thank you so much for coming out. Angels Camp, thanks again. Hey, Smoking Joe Che, happy birthday from Belle Verde. It was an excellent and competitive fight up until the moment where you knocked him out, but how much of an adjustment did you have to make style-wise, and will there, were there any difficulties because of that? You know, I knew he was going to be a little bit uh, better with his wrestling. You know, he's a good high school wrestler. I've known him for a while. So I had to be a little bit more hesitant with my stand-up because I knew he'd go for the shots. You know, he's a tough guy, man. I, I put it on him, and he's able to hang in there and land some good strikes. Now, since Henan Barrow did not make weight and fell out, he's not going to get a, another shot at the title coming straight back. He's going to have to fight someone else. Who would you like to defend your title against next? You know, I'm not really sure. Uh, my mind was on Hinton Brow the last like four months, so I haven't been able to think about anybody else. You know, I'd like to take a little break. You know, I had my back-to-back -back fights. We'll see what the UFC wants to do with me, but I'm fighting anybody they want to put in front of me, and I'm going to beat them. Well, congratulations on defending your title, and thank you very much for saving this card and taking on a very credible title, a very credible title challenger on short notice. Uh, thank you so much, Malibu Boats. Thank you so much on it. You guys all support me, Booster, all my sponsors, People Finders. Thank you so much. The winner and still champion, ladies and gentlemen, T.J. Dillashaw. The champion of the UFC's bantamweight division also wins a brand new Iron 883 Harley Davidson motorcycle. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause for Joe Soto stepping up on short notice, the shortest notice ever, and putting on a very, very competitive fight for the title. Joe. Describe the last 24 hours of your life and what it felt like to get that request to step in last minute and fight for the title. It was a dream come true, an honor that I got uh, the UFC to uh, ask me to fight for a title. I love the UFC. I've always wanted to be here since I was a kid. I've always wanted to uh, you know, be interviewed by you. So, uh, you know, I'm just honored, really. It's a privilege to fight here. I didn't want to live the rest of my life. I didn't want to die knowing I didn't fight in the UFC. And I thought I was, but, but I, 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 my, my dream came true. Well, you put on a very competitive fight here tonight. You had trained for a three-round fight against a different opponent. What was the adjustment like fighting for the title, fighting for five rounds, and fighting a guy, TJ Dillashaw, who's very different than your original opponent? Anybody that knows me knows I train not for a five-round fight, not for a three-round fight, but I, I train just no matter how long the fight's going to go. I always uh, train for the worst situations. If I'm sick, if I'm injured, if I gotta fight for an hour, that's how I train. I'm old school with it. Thank you very much for a great fight and welcome to the UFC. Happy birthday, Jake. Congratulations on an excellent performance. Joe Soto, ladies and gentlemen.